Hello everyone! Today I'm filming a tutorial for the language teachers out there. It's a trick called Memorize and Find. It's great for vocabulary practice. I adapted it for ELT, but since it's very adaptable, it can be used to teach a variety of things. Today I'm going to do it with the animal cards. As you can see, I have approximately 16 cards, but the number doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what matters is every card in the deck should be unique like there should only be one horse one dog for example so let's start so now we have cards horse dog giraffe lion donkey bird sheep duck zebra rabbit cow monkey snake cat and elephant so we will show all the cards to our students then we shuffle our cards like this then we ask our student to pick a card and not show me but she will show to the classroom now give me the card okay and then we basically just shuffle ah, we just put it like that we shuffle 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 like that and then I put the cards let's see all of the cards like this now I tell my students I will memorize all of these cards in 10 seconds and then they will count to 10 and I will memorize <laughs> and then I just turn my back and then I will ask the student to uh, move the card that they picked to another place. And then I will turn back and I will look at the cards. Hmm. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Ah, oh, is it this one? Yeah. So now you're asking, how did I do it? Let me show you. So the trick is all about actually not seeing the deck, but you only see the bird and the rabbit on the front and on the back. So when your student chooses one card, for example, it's the snake. And then when they give it back to you, you just take this card, just cut the deck in the middle and the rabbit facing this one in the back. So just between these, you put it and then it looks completely lost right but you know that it's between the rabbit and the bird and as you can see they're in the middle so I just pick the front part I pretend to shuffle I just take this part I pretend to shuffle but when I just do it like this carefully as you can see okay so I just did all of these and it's easy I just look and then I uh, where am I looking at bird and the rabbit and I put it between them so it's the snake but I turn around and I at first I just pretend to memorize all of them in 10 seconds and I turn around and then they just put this somewhere else and then since I memorize the snake then I just say it's snake but uh, we do this because sometimes there can be two cards in between and you don't know which one it is so when you turn back you're telling yourself donkey snake donkey snake and then if they move the snake then it's the snake if the donkey is remaining if the donkey is gone then it would be the donkey so that's how it's done <laughs> 